Ever since I first played a ton of hot games, I've been thinking about how all of the games possibly takes place in the same universe. After 12 years of playing, I finally found out how they can all be connected. Let's enter an alternate universe called the Tony Hawk game universe. This theory will cover every Tony Hawk game made by Neversoft, except for spin-offs. The first game in this timeline is Tony Hawk's Underground. Tony Hawk's Underground takes place from late 2003 to 2004. How do we know? The first thing I noticed is that you can see the game Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 on your skater's desktop in the beginning of Tony Hawk's Underground. This also means that the Pro Skater games are all fictional games in the Tony Hawk universe. However, you also enter Tampa M 2004, which makes it pretty obvious that the game takes place from late 2003 to early 2004. Meanwhile, the events in Underground takes place, Project 8 starts off. Now, you might be wondering where the town in Project 8 is on the map, and I'll get to that later. In Tony Hawk's Underground, you and Derek Sparrow become pro skaters. They start out as amateurs, but after just a short time they become the best skaters in the world. In Project 8, Eric Sparrow is in the top 200 list of best skaters in town. And in Tony Hawk's Project 8, Tony Hawk is looking for undiscovered talent. That explains perfectly why he appears in Tampa during Tampa and in Tony Hawk's Underground. I mean, why would he be there otherwise? Riley Hawk wasn't there. So he both meets you and Eric there. The events in Project 8 must therefore begin after Tampa Am 2004, because Eric appears on the top 200 list immediately. He came second in Tampa Am, which explains why he is on the list from the start of Project 8. After Tampa Am, Tony Hawk completely disappears for no reason and makes his comeback in Moscow. When you completed Tony Hawk's Underground, you and Eric are ranked as two of the best skaters in the world. In the ending of my Project 8, Eric is 6th, which means that this is where Project 8 ends as well. Shortly after Underground, World Destruction Tour begins. Your skater gets kidnapped in New Jersey and possibly wakes up in Woodland Hills. It is said that the famous level warehouse is in Woodland Hills, California, but if Mr. Custom Skater was kidnapped from New Jersey, it would take exactly 41 hours to drive to Woodland Hills. That would be an incredible descent, but could still work because Tony Hawk and most other pro skaters lives in California. Tony Hawk lives in Carlsbad, which is only 2 hours away, and yeah, he probably takes the private plane. When you're in warehouse, or training as it is called in Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Tony Hawk talks about that the best skaters in the world get to participate in World Destruction Tour. Eric Sparrow is also there. This means that Eric is still one of the best skaters, as well as you. During the tour, a producer called Nigel Beaverhausen wants to film the whole tour and reveals in New Orleans that he filmed it all. Keep this in mind. In Australia, Eric gets eliminated from the tour and states that he doesn't have a ticket home. We don't see Eric later in the game. In Tony Hawk's Prune Ground, Eric lives in Baltimore. This means that he must have been sent home or something, or that he was only joking. But why would he move to Baltimore? Did he just want to get rid of Mr. Custom Skater and move to a new place? We don't know, but he must have had a good reason. It is stated that Lance Oni is his backyard, which must mean that he has been living there for quite some time. My guess would be around a year. There are lots of different posters in Tony Hawk's Prune Ground referring to other Tony Hawk games. How long does it take for a movie to be released in cinemas? The editing takes around a year if it's not The Hobbit. First, there's a poster of a new movie being released called World Destruction Tour. Nigel Beaverhausen, Tony Hawk and Friends presents. This can't be no other than the tour in Underground 2. Also, how can your skater in Prune Ground know about Eric? He has never met him before and he's a kid from Philly so Eric must be famous. Also, he has his own big car so he must have made it to the top again. Another big connection to Tony Hawk's Prune Ground, which is the product date, is the Fun Park poster. There are a few posters representing Fun Park from Tony Hawk's product date in Tony Hawk's Prune Ground. This must mean that it's very popular. There are however no other things similar to product date which I can find in Prune Ground. But this leads us to the question, where in USA is the town in product date? The posters from Fun Park can only be seen in Philly, which must mean that the town can be too far away. I know, there's nothing called traveling in Tony Hawk's program since it only takes 30 seconds to ride a skateboard from Baltimore to Washington DC, which would in real life take 4 hours if you had the speed of a bicycle. But my suggestion is that the world in Project 8 could be somewhere in New Jersey, since it's 1 hour away with a car, it's a good guess. 
but also, since Tony Hawk's Underground takes place in New Jersey at first, and that Tony Hawk in Project 8 is looking for the top 8 skaters in town, he could possibly mean New Jersey, which explains why Eric is on the top 200 list in Project 8. That also explains why Tony Hawk was in Tampa. Other skaters from New Jersey were probably also going there, and after all, Project 8 is organized by Tony Hawk, no one else. The third poster you may notice in Tony Hawk's Proving Ground is a poster of the American Wasteland magazine. In Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, Mindy writes a skating magazine called American Wasteland. This must be the ad for a skating magazine. It resembles the exact same logo as the magazine she's writing in the game. It can't be a commercial for the game. This means that the events in American Wasteland must have happened recently. Mindy's skateboarding magazine could have been published quick after the events in Tony Hawk's American Wasteland happened and then have been released. However, we do know that Tony Hawk's American Wasteland takes place in the same universe as Tony Hawk's program because the fictional mill company called Cod can be seen in both games. I have only found a few things which support the fact that the events in American Wasteland took place in 2005, but still, it's very possible. Also, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland was released in 2005. So, the Tony Hawk game universe first begins with Tony Hawk's Underground in October 2003. Tampa Am 2004 was in January, and at that time, Tony Hawk's Park Date starts off in New Jersey. In March 2004, both game ends. Shortly after, in October 2004, War Destruction Tour begins and ends in November the same year. Somewhere during spring in 2005, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland begins and the game ends during summer in August. In October 2005, Tony Hawk's Program begins and it's the last game in the Tony Hawk Gaming Universe. So guys, there we go. That's my fear about how all the Tony Hawk games are connected. Please share your opinions and if you got any questions about it, then don't mind asking. I'll answer anything that's related. As I said, the only games that are included are the story based games by Neversoft and partly the Pro Skater games. We know that they are fictional in this universe due to their appearance as actual games in the story based Tony Hawk games. The other stuff appears non fictional, like the World Destruction Tour poster. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to read Fear, there's a link in the description.